everybody, welcome along to my uh, Championship Match Day 16 preview. So obviously we've had the last midweek round of the game, so we're going to talk about that as well in this video, as well as preview this weekend's Championship fixtures and give my scores and opinions on them. So we're going to start with the Friday night game. Wolves host Fulham, it's on Sky Sports on front tomorrow night. So this has been an interesting game for Wolves. Good result against Norwich in midweek. I think it was 2-0 up at Carrow Road there, so they'll be looking to try and build on that. Fulham, we didn't get a best, best result we could have hoped for against Bristol City. We lost 2-0. Probably the worst performance I've seen in a while. But that, that's, that video's in my match day uh, vlog type of thing. So go and watch that and you'll probably get a more accurate review on that. And a more in-depth, detailed um, review on that as well. So really, I think Wolves are looking like a good side this year for me. Look like they're probably, they can definitely go up this season. And they're coming up against Fulham. As I said, we ain't doing too well. I'd take a draw in this game. But given the way we've been playing recently, I'll definitely take a point. But... Whether or not we're going to get that draw, I don't know. And I just firstly think, I think this game will end up Wolves 2, Fulham 1, I think. I just don't see us winning this game in the way we're playing at the moment. It'll be a close game, but I think Wolves will have a bit more in hand and beat us, I think. So the second game, well, this is the Saturday games now. The seven-side derby, Bristol City, they're at home to Cardiff. This is a, this this first um, seven-side derby this season is at Ashton Gate. Two informed sides this season, both doing really well. So this will be actually a really good encounter compared to last season. This will be a much better game than what it was last year. So, Bristol City done well against Fulham, 2 0 result against us, played some really good football as well. One of the best sides I've seen probably down at uh, Fulham in, in terms of a first half performance. Against the Cardiff side, he beat Ipswich 3 1 as well. They're playing quite well, Cardiff. They're sitting in the top cut, top three in the table, so Neil Warnock's definitely eyeing up, eyeing up promotion. They're doing quite well at the moment. The draw against Millwall on Saturday wasn't the best result, but they bounced back against Ipswich. I feel like if they didn't get anything, if they got another draw from Ipswich, then there could have been questions raised, in my opinion. However, it's good that they managed to bounce back and beat a solid Ipswich side 3-1. This will be a tight game, though. Both managers are in good form at the moment. and got some good players in there. Callum Patterson and Callum O'Dowd and Bobby Reid. All three of them play outstandingly well against us on Tuesday night. And obviously, Cardiff looked like some Mendes Lang as well. Junior, junior Hoylet. And obviously, uh, Joe Rawls in the midfield. He's pivotal in the engine room for Cardiff this season. This will be a very tight game. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. I'm going to sit on the fence and go for a point in this game for both sides. Be a good game, it'll be a quite a tight game. Both sides ain't too bad defensively either. I think it'll be a 1-1 draw. So moving to the next game, Aston Villa host Sheffield Wednesday. That might be a game really. Two big clubs in this division looking to try and hit towards the top the higher end of the division this season. Aston Villa done well last night against Preston. Comprehensive 2-0 win, job done there in terms of what they had to do last night. They looked quite accomplished as well. So they, 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 they did the job there in terms of what they had to do as well. Against the Sheffield Wednesday side who, uh, who beat Millwall on, on Tuesday night 2-1. Wasn't the best performance from Millwall, but um, wasn't the best result from Sheffield Wednesday, sorry. But um, Jordan Rhodes popped up the winning goal, so they got the job done as well. So it's a case of both sides in midweek getting the, getting the job done, really, without looking too amazing. And I do see Aston Villa winning this game, I think. They're in some fantastic form at the moment, playing with so much confidence. And if, if they win this game, they'll be going to international break on a high, just sitting in the playoff place as well, which is where they wanted to be originally. So I do think they'll win this game 2-0. So going into the next game, Barnsley hosts Birmingham. Barnsley playing quite well at the moment. Big 4-2 win against Burton in midweek. What they needed as well. They're scoring some absolute peach of go peaches of goals so far. And they're really scoring, f scoring for fun as well. Harvey Barnes scored a worldie in, uh, in the Sheffield Wednesday game. And they're really picking up that goal scoring form. And really adding to that and getting more goals as well. Against the Birmingham, they lost 2-0 to Brentford last night. Bit of a surprising result really. Considering how um, Birmingham are playing at the moment. They're not playing too amazingly. Not playing amazingly well. They're still just hovering around that relegation place. Considering the players they brought in. They, they really don't want to be down there for much longer. Steve Cottrell is struggling. It's a harder job than I think what he probably could originally thought really. There's, they've got some fantastic players Birmingham. Don't get me wrong. But it's just their low on confidence at the moment. And they need to get a result soon. Just to try and boost that. I feel like a derby win against Villa. Will probably be the turning point of the season. They didn't win that game. They got a point. And there's a bit of sloppy... Sloppy game against Birmingham against Brentford last night. Unlucky to give away a penalty. I felt Michael Morrison got the ball. I think it was that Neil Mappe. He got he went down under a Morrison challenge. I felt like Michael Morrison to get the ball, but the referee gave the penalty. Just shows you when, when you're down there, the luck tends to go against you. And it's a bit tight game. I think I'm going to go the Barnsley win. I'm going to go the Barnsley two one win. I think they're out of I think just for the sheer fact that they're playing in good they're in good form at the moment and they're going to carry it on. I think against the Birmingham side, they're a bit low on confidence. And when you're low on confidence, it kind of radiates onto the pitch in terms of what you can create and it limits you to what you can do really. So for that reason, I'm going to go have a comfortable home win. Let's go to the next game. Bolton hosts Norwich. Bolton in a decent bit of form, building a, 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 a nice unbeaten record going. A couple of draws against Fulham and Sunderland. Drew 3-3 against Sunderland. Probably feel like they could have won the game. I mean, they were first they went down 1-0, came back, got to the point where they went 3-2 up for a Kyle Henry strike. Sammy Amiobi scored 2-2. Two two. He's, looking, he's looking like he's going to creep into a bit of form. He'll be, that'll be pivotal for them. And I thought that with the quality, with the quality Bolton have got, they can cause Norwich problems. 
Norwich have um, back to back defeats in the last couple of days as well. Lost to two promotion rivals in Derby and um, Nor Wolves as well at home, both at home as well. But I, I do think it's going to bounce back here. But I'm going to put up a good fight, put up a good fight, but I just think it'll be a 1 0 uh, Norwich win. I think Norwich is creeping and get the three points in this one. So we're into the next game, Derby host Reading. I'm going, to go over, I'm going to go over home winning this game just for the fact that Derby playing some fantastic stuff. Two huge wins against Leeds and Norwich. Six points from both of them. Fantastic results for them. Job done in terms of what they're doing. Consolidating their playoff push this season. And we might see finally Derby actually get a run in the playoffs after years of ne being the nearly, nearly, nearly team in this division. Against the Reading side, they got a good result in midweek. A, a good win as well. But I just think Reading are going to come up short against a more a better quality team in Derby who are going to push and push. and They, they do score a couple of really good goals. Sam Winnell's in a good bit of form. He's got two and two as well this season. David Nugent's firing in goals as well. So for that fact, I'm going to go have a comfortable home win. I'm going to have a 2 0 Derby. So in the next game, it's Ipswich. They host Preston. Both sides not in the best bit of form at the moment. Ipswich got a good result against Burton, followed by a, a defeat at, at home away to Cardiff, sorry, um, at the Cardiff City Stadium. Preston last night shot themselves in the foot, really. They really did the catalyst of their own downfall in terms of the way they were playing. She never really had a penalty, I felt, in the first half. Sean Maguire went down. James Chester, to me, looked like a clear foul. He did stick his leg out. They was unlucky not to get the penalty. And when you don't get that luck, when you get that luck going against you, it can really be an uphill struggle. It's like you've got a 12th man against you, really. But this has been another tight game, really. Both sides got good quality, good, good, good quality on their day, in my opinion. And I'm going to go over the way winning this game. I'm going to be quite bold, stick my neck out on the line and go over Preston win. Even though they haven't been playing too great recently, I'm going to go over a 2-0 away win. I think they'll be a bit more streetwise and they'll be able to combat some of uh, Ipswich's style. I think Alex Neal's a clever tactician when he gets his um, tactics right. They're a good counter-attack inside. Bart Cowson on the, they've got Bart Cowson, Sean Maguire, Pace on the counter-attack. Obviously, you've got Daniel Johnson in the midfield. Alan Brown, he got sent off in the last game. I'm not sure if he's back yet. I think he might be because it's only a second yellow card or maybe against Wolves. I'm not too sure a couple of weeks ago but I'm going to go away winning this game and I'm going to go with that for, for, the, for the reason of that so in this next game Millwall host Burton I'm going to go over home winning this game I think Millwall playing really well at the moment unlucky not to get nothing against Sheffield Wednesday Tom Elliott scored a goal to get him back into the game at 1-1 unlucky not to get anything coming against a Burton side who are struggling for goals struggling for form and really struggling for any positive results another home defeat for them I think the last home win they got was against Fulham I think back in September so it just really proves this is a struggle. This will be a second season syndrome cliche, as they say, where they're probably going to struggle in their second season in this division. And I'm going to go over Millwall 3, Burton Albion 1 result. Let's move into the next game. Forest host QPR. Both sides in fantastic form at the moment. QPR beat Wolves and Sheffield United. If you told them, they'll probably get, get six points from them in two games. They're probably bitting your hand off, really. Playing, coming against the Forest side, they're in a good bit of form themselves. They ain't playing too bad either. So it'll be a good game, really. QPR will be looking to probably hit them on the counter-attack against Forest because Forest, as we've seen before, on Saturday, especially on Saturday against Hull, like to have a lot of the ball. Even though they're good on the counter-attack themselves, Barry McKay in there, Kieran Dow, he's playing some fantastic stuff at the moment. He got a hat-trick, so it's three goals in two games for him so far. And this will be a tight game, but I think it's going to be a tight game, but I'm going to go over Forest 2-1 when it gets QPR. QPR will pop a really good fight, I think, in this game, but I think Forest going to have a bit too much in terms of stretching that weak back line of uh, QPR. And I'm going to go over 2-1 win to Forest. So into that game, Chuck United host Hull. I'm going to go over home winning this game for Sheffield United. Unlucky to lose against QPR. A bit of an unfortunate goal. Jamal Blackman went to catch the ball. He caught it, but he sort of landed awkwardly. He got himself injured and obviously dropped the ball in the process. I'm not sure if he'll be in goal for, for Saturday's game against Hull. I'm not too sure. Looks, like he, I think he got stretched off in that, in that game against QPR. So it looks a bit of a, a longer term injury than probably what uh, Chris Wilder would have hoped in terms of his number one. He's done quite well in goal this season for Sheffield United, if I say so myself. And then Sheffield United come against the whole side. They were very inconsistent, I think, up and down. They can score a lot of goals, but they do leak a lot of goals as well. And I think coming against a promotion contender, or Hull are even going to be considered as promotion contenders, I don't know. And I think it'll be a comfortable home win, really. I think Hull will put up a good fight. They'll probably get a goal, but the soft underbelly of their defence will probably cost them going forward in this game. And I think they're going to go over Sheffield United 3, Hull City 1. So this is the half past five kickoff on Saturday. It's Brentford, they host Leeds. It'll be live on Sky Sports as well. Both, I think, I'm pr looking at this game, I think Brentford can definitely bring it to Leeds, I think. Playing some good stuff at the moment, getting some positive results against Preston and against Birmingham. Two good away wins in space of, what, four days. So Brentford are really starting to turn it around. After a bit of a sloppy start, they're starting to get the results that some of their early performances probably could have deserved. Against a Leeds side, they've lost three consecutive home games in the bounce, I think now that is. Against Sheffield United, they lost followed by another home defeat to, uh, to Derby as well. So they need to try and get some consistency on the road. To just try and get them back into that playoff mix. The results have stagnated a bit. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with a 2-1 lead to win. I think they'll probably pull this out. They've got a lot of good qualities. It's a case of getting them firing. 
However, they've not really replaced Green, they've not really replaced the likes of Robert Green and Chris Wood, in my opinion. Not effectively. I mean, the Saga's not too bad, but I don't think he's the, the Chris Wood type of striker they probably could have done with. But I'm going to go over Leeds 2, Brentford 1. Then on to Sunday, we've got a little local North East derby between Middlesbrough and Sunderland. Obviously, manager of Sunderland sacked Simon Grayson after their 3 3 draw against Bolton on, on Tuesday night. He had to win that game in terms of staying, in terms of keeping his job. It was but the word was being spread around before kickoff. That's probably his last game in charge, provided he didn't get a provided he got a poor result. And I think they're going to struggle with against Middlesbrough. And looking at some of the managerial contenders, Paul Hurst, Shrewsbury, Paul Hurst, the Shrewsbury manager, he came out and expressed an interest in the in the Sunderland job. Whether or not he should really go, I don't know. I think he's building something well at Shrewsbury. So would he really want to go to a sinking ship at Sunderland? I don't know. Against the Middlesbrough side, they ain't doing too, they're doing okay themselves, getting some better results now, starting to push up the table. Asombolong was scoring a couple of goals as well, and they, they're playing quite well. And for that reason, I think Manchester Sunderland they're going to struggle with. I think they're woeful. I think they're definitely going to go, probably go down this season unless they can get a, a, a good manager in. And I'm going to go for Middlesbrough 2, Sunderland 0 in this game. So there you have it, guys. There are my Championship Match Day 16 predictions. Tomorrow we're going to have an FA Cup Round 1 prediction since the FA Cup's coming back, so we'll bring that out tomorrow as well. So if you like it, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel for more of this type of content. It'd be nice to try and get 300 subscribers now. We're only two away, so it'd be nice to try and hit that soon. And yeah, we'll see you on the next video.